Hi people, this is Julia Ann. I've been in the adult industry since 1992, so I know quite a bit about it, and I'm here to discuss Pop 60 with you. I realize Pop 60 sounds really, really good when you just read it on paper, because yeah, it's safe for sex, right? For adult workers, and that sounds like it should make sense. But like a lot of things that are written out there, there's a lot of confusion as you read through it. There's a lot of things that are very misleading. One of which is, do you realize that by saying yes to it, 38 million Californians would be able to actually sue me, profit from the scenes that I've done, and gain access to my legal name and address? That not only puts me in harm's way from people who, let's just say, maybe are a little excited about getting to meet me, and it also puts my neighbors in harm's way. It puts my friends in harm's way. It puts my family in harm's way. So for that, I would, I would urge you to think about it before you would vote on it at all. <laughs> the other thing is, it's misleading in the way that it's written. It says that the performers are exempt, but if you read just a little bit further, it says anybody with a financial interest is actually going to be incorporated into that law and be sued. But what does that mean? Well, nowadays, the adult industry no longer consists of producers, companies, and performers. We now are one. The internet changed the entire model of the industry, and it's estimated that at least 75% of the performers are actually considered producers or content makers, or at the very least, they have a financial interest in the content that they do. So what does that mean? the performers are now going to be sued. And let's not kid ourselves. There's one proponent of Prop 60, Michael Weinstein from AHF, from the AIDS Health Healthcare Foundation. He has actually spent over $4 million to get this on the ballot. $4 million of taxpayer money and donations. Donations that are supposed to go to education, to helping people with HIV, to helping support the communities. And instead, he's just gone to combat us. And they went from saying initially that they were just here to perfect, protect the performers. But when the grand majority of performers stood up today and said, not me. You do not stand to protect me. This isn't right. This is a witch hunt. They stopped what they were saying, and now they say, we don't care. We don't care what you have to say. We're going to push forward on this law. So it was never really about protecting us. Why should you care? Well, let me tell you. Not only are you sending a signal to a person who can have multi-billion dollar organization, and spend millions of it just trying to further his own political agenda. But on top of it, if it passes, he's going to be sworn into oath in office. And we're going to be paying his salary on top of the millions of dollars that California is going to lose in tax revenue. We will be paying his salary and his expense report in order to sit and watch porn and decide who he's going to sue. He will supersede the Attorney General he will supersede Cal OSHA, our governing body of worker safety. And we will be paying it. And we won't be able to get him out, because it'll take a vote of two houses to remove him, and only with very, very good cause. I don't think that's something that any of us want. The last little bit I want to say to you is, when you think about the industry, don't just think about me. Think about the transgender community. Think about the gay and lesbian community. Think about the fact that these people already have hate groups gunning for them, which we have very recently seen with the Orlando shootings. Now, hate groups and just individuals that can't stand them will be able to gain access to their home residence. And that's not okay. Not only does it put them in harm's way, but it puts their neighbors in harm's way. This is a man who has written this, not a government entity not an organization, a man. So I urge you to vote no on Prop 60, because maybe it's us today, but it might be you tomorrow.